This is a complete program for the legendary Chris Bumstead shoulder routine, so you can incorporate this into your training regime. Chris Bumstead, or known to many as C-Bum, is well known for his wide, well-rounded shoulders. And that can be play a massive part in the reason why he's four times Mr. Olympia. All right, I'm really looking forward to this workout to see how such a great athlete, what he does to actually achieve such good results. All right, let's get started and make sure you save this video so that the next time you're in the gym, you can try it out. Now it's important here to make sure you do a really good warm up with some shoulder circles, some arm circles, some shoulder dislocations, and also some rotator cuff exercises. As we all know, it's important to warm up before any kind of workout. Of course, to prevent injury and also to prepare your muscles for the up and coming workout. It's also important for me to add here that C-Bum actually struggled with shoulder problems in the past. Hence the reason why he emphasizes a good warm up beforehand. Now, Chris went for two sets of 10 reps on each of the four warm up exercises. All right, let's go. Now it's time to hit some heavy presses with a seated dumbbell press. I'm gonna start with a weight that's actually comfortable for me and then gradually increase the weight for each set. Now for this, I'd say it's important to keep a nice tight core and also keep my back nice and straight while doing the exercise, even though I'm in a seated position. The things I like to focus on, as also he does as well, is coming from just below 90 degree position on the elbow and also focusing on the squeeze at the top of the shoulder, but not completely locking out the elbow as you come to the top. The great thing here is we have to focus on what we have is a stabilization coming through from the king of the shoulders himself, which of course, the strength increasing a lot due to be able to hold the heavy dumbbells without struggling to maintain them in that position. All right, next up, we've got the standing military press. Now, this exercise is great for hitting the front and also the medial delt, which really helps build the overall mass of the shoulders whilst increasing the strength of the shoulders in general. The main objective is actually to isolate the shoulders as much as possible. So by doing this, I'm going to be doing it as a strict press as opposed to a push press. It's also important maintaining strength in the core to also help with the stabilization in the top position. Now I'm going to be doing this exercise with a barbell and also again by increasing the weight for each set. Okay, so moving on to lateral raises. Now this exercise is great for targeting the medial delt and also really gives them that round and also wide shape. So for this, I'm going to be using the dumbbells and also making sure that I've got a slight bend in the elbow, which is fixed all the way through the movement. Now, I always come from the side of the body and I also come up to a position where the shoulder, the elbow and the wrist finishes at the same height. Now, this is a point where you should really start to feel the burn in the shoulders. If not, then it's time to step it up and you really should see some serious growth in the shoulders. Okay, now it's time to target the rear delts with some rear delt flies. Now this exercise, it can often be left out, but it's actually super important for achieving that complete shoulder development. Same again, I'm gonna be using the dumbbells for this exercise, again, so it makes me work that little bit harder on the stabilization. Now here I'm gonna point out that you may feel as though you're slightly restricted in terms of the range of motion, but don't overcompensate by incorporating other muscles. While doing this exercise, I make sure to keep my back nice and straight, and also my elbows slightly bent while raising the dumbbells up to the side. As you can see, I'm using a pronated grip for this exercise. The reason for this is actually to maximize the range of movement as opposed to using a hammer grip. All right, moving on to cable face pulls. This exercise is great for targeting the rear delts and also the upper back as well. Now for this, I'm gonna be using the cable machine. For this exercise, I'm gonna be pulling the rope towards my face while keeping my elbows nice and high. Also remember here, it's important to retract the shoulder braids to reduce the tension in the traps and also the neck as well. All right, last but not least, we've got upright rows. Now, this exercise is great for targeting the traps and also the medial delt, and it really helps create that 3D look. For this exercise, I'm gonna be using the barbell. I'm gonna be making sure I keep my elbows nice and high, the wrists nice and straight, and the bar as close as possible to the body at this point you're more than likely going to be feeling it in the shoulders and the shoulders should be on fire but of course if you feel as though you've still got some left in the tank i'm going to leave you with a couple of good exercises that you can use as a finisher okay option number one you can add some dumbbell front raises to specifically get some extra focus on the anterior delt or the arnold press as as you can see it's an extension from the conventional seated dumbbell press all right that's it and we're done now you can really understand why Seabum has got one of the best set of shoulders in the game. And I'm really excited to see actually how you found it. Let me know in the comments how it worked out for you. And also feel free to suggest other programs and workout routines that you'd like me to cover. Thanks a lot for watching and see you in the next one.